I picked up the Marie Veronique Treatment Cleanser. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my clean, all-natural, non-toxic product switch video part Four, where I bring you along on my clean journey where I share clean brands clean products that I switched to and how you can make the switch to clean products yourself I also have my all-natural makeup routine I'm also going to be sharing a beginner's guide so if this is the first video you're seeing you might want to go back to that one it's gonna be a great overview of how to switch to clean products to make it easy for you I know it could be overwhelming from the start you don't want to throw out all of your products and things could be pricey so kind of where to start to make sure that it's kind of a slow process because you don't want to just throw out everything and be wasteful while also switching over. Hopefully that video will be helpful. If you're not new here and you watched all the other parts of this series, I am excited to share another one with you guys today. So really quick, before we start with the first product, I just want to remind you guys, like I do in all my videos, make sure to do your own research use the things that are out there for you like EWG, Think Dirty. There's some great websites, some great curated online shops that you can look at that pull the brands and clean products together so it's a little bit easier to find new things. And also be aware that just because one product from a brand is clean doesn't mean everything is clean. There's different ingredients that go into different products so it can vary. And also keep an eye on products at the drugstore or the supermarket that have started small or maybe just a small brand in general that get bought out by bigger brands that end up replacing products with cheaper ingredients and then they're no longer clean. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to do your own research. Don't just look at it if it tells you it's green or clean or whatever. Words are thrown around all the time and the only really regulated word is organic. So you want to be, you know, keeping an eye out for that. Okay, first up, I want to share a brand that you guys might be familiar with. I've worked with them in the past and I love to try their new products. They encompass everything that I want in a brand when it comes to clean products. They have organic ingredients, but it's also fair pricing. It's not like $100 for a cleanser. All right, first up, I wanted to share the Beauty by Earth Foaming Face Wash in Peppermint Tea Tree. This has been so great at taming my acne. I think because of the tea tree, it really helps to minimize those larger breakouts that I get. I still have little clogged pores and things like that, but this has been really great and has really become a part of my skincare routine and there's a lot of certified organic ingredients. It's just really clean overall. This is something that I definitely recommend if you have acne. This is my second bottle from them. Next up is something that has become another vital part of my skincare routine and this is their vitamin C line. They have a vitamin C serum, uh, their hyperactive anti-aging vitamin C serum. I will use this in the morning usually, sometimes at night and I put this on under my moisturizer. It just makes my skin feel really refreshed and hydrated and then over that I will put my moisturizer on and this is the hyperactive anti-aging vitamin C with hyaluronic acid and I just really love this vitamin C line so I recommend. This is my skincare routine for a while. I actually did switch over to another line uh, from a different brand and I'll explain that in a little bit but this is such a great combination and I still use these every single day. The other thing I wanted to share with you from Beauty by Earth, which I did share in another part of this series, um, their self-tanner. There are definitely a lot of brands out there that people you know, love and cherish, but they're not that clean. So it was really great to see that Beauty by Earth came out with the self-tanner. I have their lotion self-tanner. It was a really nice natural tan. And one thing, one thing I didn't do was tan my face, and I probably should have because my face makeup wasn't matching my skin tone. But they actually came out with a facial serum self tanner and a self tanner in a mousse. So if you like the lotion, you could do the lotion, but they also have a mousse. So I'm excited to try these. I haven't tried these yet, full transparency, but I have tried their lotion. So I just wanted to update you if you're into that, if you have a wedding coming up. And then they also came out with some self tanner brushes. This one is for your face. It's a beautiful, really soft brush 
and it doesn't have any bristle fallout. It's a really great quality brush. So if you're gonna do your facial self tanner, definitely recommend using this. Then they came out with this one you could use to put on like the mousse or the lotion. I'm really soft and it's going to make sure that your tan is really even. You can get into like all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, last thing from Beauty by Earth is their Bore Bristle Brush. They actually just came out with this as well. And I have been really loving this. You guys know I love to slick back my hair. It has those fine bristles. But the other great thing about boar bristle is if you're brushing your hair, it brings those natural oils from your scalp down to the ends of your hair, distributing those oils. I do still have my ordinary, you know, one dollar brush from Walmart because I do need to use that to kind of untangle. This is a little bit more forgiving. It's more for bringing those oils down, um, but I also use it to slick back my hair. So that's Beauty by Earth. I love when some clean brands are coming out with new products. It's always really exciting. Next up is going to be Humanist Beauty. So as a content creator, I am working with them and doing an Instagram reel, but I wanted to share in my natural product switch video because they are natural and I only collaborate and share clean products. As you guys know, you're watching this video. So this brand is Humanist Beauty and they sent over their herbal wisdom eye cream. Something I fell in love with about this brand is their website lists out every single ingredient used in their products and rates it on the EWG shows the purpose of the ingredient as someone who loves clean products and is you know on that journey to have a website that spells it out for you and you don't have to like copy and paste these long ingredients into EWG love the transparency and just making it easy to see what the ingredients rate. So I've been using this for a few weeks now and I love it so far. I've been using it on my under eyes. Um, I do it at the, in the morning and at night. So right now I have it under my makeup. Just a really great hydrating cream for your skin. It has CBD and some organic ingredients. I've been loving it so far and really appreciate their transparency on the website. And I hope that in the future, all brands will or at least clean brands will start to switch over to that because it, it was really great and refreshing to see that. Okay, next up is an OG brand. You guys know I started the switch with the brand 100% Pure and I have two new products I wanted to share with you. The first one is this Blood Orange Cleansing Balm. So this is a great way to remove your makeup. I have a few products that I really love to remove makeup. This is kind of like a creamy balm. I like to use this when I have a full face of makeup on. I can rub it over my eyes, over my skin, and and it really breaks down your makeup. Then after this, I'll do like an oil cleanser and then I will do my facial cleanser to make sure that all that makeup is off of my skin. We have some really great ingredients, organic avocado oil, organic olive oil, organic beeswax, blood orange essential oil, and then we got a matcha mask. So this is the 100% pure matcha oat milk nourishing mask. Every week I like to rotate through a few masks and make sure that I'm exfoliating my skin, hydrating it, and giving it what it needs because I do suffer with that acne. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm maintaining my skin, not just cleansing it every night, but really you know, going the extra step. And so this has been really great. I love matcha, so of course I love it in a mask. And it is a powder mask that you can put liquid in and then it turns into a mask. And again, some organic ingredients. We have coconut fruit milk, oatmeal, chamomile flour, rose petal, lavender oil, some hyaluronic acid. 100% Pure has some really great masks and Earth Harbor has some really great masks. And I'm gonna share another mask with you very shortly. Okay, next up are three products that I actually picked up at a local shop, Take Care in Georgetown. So if you guys are local in the DC area and are looking for a store that you can literally walk in and you know that all their products are clean, non-toxic, have really great ingredients, definitely stop into Georgetown. Even if you're visiting, if you're in DC, go to Georgetown, go to Take Care, check out their products. It's fun to just like, for me, walk in and just like read the ingredients and find some new brands to try. And so I actually went for an organic facial. I did a little collaboration with them. These are the products they used on my skin for my acne. And so I was like, you know what? Let's try a new brand. I picked up the Marie Veronique Treatment Cleanser, Treatment Mist, and the Treatment Serum. They recommended this. So I have been trying this and so far I've been loving it. It has some great smells, 
feels like I'm, you know, at a spa every time I do my skincare routine. Lots of organic ingredients, essential oils. The treatment cleanser is an exfoliating cleanser. It has a little bit of a scrub, so you want to be gentle with it. My skin definitely needs to be exfoliated. I'll do this in the morning at, and at night, and then I will follow that with the treatment mist. I am a sucker for mists in general. I love like the rose water mists. What did I have in the past? I definitely have had a lot of rose water mists, uh, but this is great. I'm noticing that a lot of these, in, these products have B3 and B5. I've been seeing a lot of B3 in products. The treatment cleanser deep cleans, unclogs pores with alpha and beta hydroxy acids while retaining oil, green tea, apple cider vinegar, willow, rosemary, lavender oil, rose geranium oil. And then the treatment mist has some aloe vera, green tea, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, carrot, turmeric, frankincense oil. I mean, so clean. And then the last thing is the treatment serum. I will say that all three are pretty pricey. This was the most pricey at like $90. I was shook when I found out it was that much, but this is great for spot treating acne. I haven't had a good spot treatment in a little while. I was using the 100% pure tea tree. I was kind of spot treating with that and then I emptied that out, wanted to try something else. So this has been great. This also has B vitamins, uh, B5 and B3, and I'll just put this on at night and sometimes in the morning, depending on what I have. So far, it's been working wonders. I had a really big pimple here and I ended up I'm not sure if I ended up popping it or not. I try to, sometimes I'll pop things, sometimes I'll kind of let it go and wait for it to do it on its own. But this has been great because once I put it on there, you can tell that within a few days it's healing, it's flat, and it really helps with that healing process of acne. So I've been really liking this as well. Again, some great ingredients in here. So Marie Veronique and the owner of the shop, Take Care, Becky, she uh, mentioned that People come in for Marie Veronique all the time. It was my first time hearing of the brands, but I'm excited to um, finally have them in my skincare routine. Another brand that I picked up at Take Care was Innersense Beauty. I was looking for the longest time for a clean hairspray, and I was trying to get Ben hooked on this, but he hasn't tried it yet because he's stuck on his Tresemme aerosol, which, if you guys don't know, um, you know, hairspray and those aerosol cans can have lots of toxic chemicals that you're breathing in as you're spraying the hairspray on. So if you're gonna make the switch and you know, you're not ready to completely go over to clean, you can switch to something that's not aerosol, even if it's not clean. Um, it's a little bit better for you to be breathing in, but if you're gonna go with something clean, you know, find something clean that's not non-aerosol. I really don't know if, if there are many that are aerosol that are clean out there. I don't know if those things can happen together, but this has been really great. I use this to slick back my hair and tame any of my frizz if I'm just wearing my hair in my natural curls. This is their eye create finish and it's kind of a very, um, I would say like medium hold. It's not super strong, but it's still strong enough to hold down my frizz clearly. I've been really loving it and the smell is good. You wanna make sure all the fragrances are natural as well. That's something super important. If it's fragrance free, that's great. Um, but if it, does has, if it does have fragrance, you wanna make sure that the fragrances are clean because that's something that, you know, if you just see fragrance on here, like I think the fragrance here is coming from the essential oils, but if you just see the word fragrance on a product, that's a red flag because it's not a regulated ingredient. So companies can just like throw in crap into the word fragrance um, and just put crappy fragrance and you're breathing that in every time you smell it. Next up is a set that was sent to me by Earth Harbor. My journey started with 100% pure first and then some Earth Harbor masks and then I ended up reaching out to them. They sent over these I think around January so I've been using this for a little while now. This is their antioxidant cleansing oil. This I use to remove any makeup so if I want to instead of the like thick cream I want to do an oil I can use this. They also sent over a rose water spray but I cannot show you that because I used it all and then I was gonna save the bottle to share with you but I know what I did. I have been the queen lately of dropping glass products on my bathroom floor and then them cracking and breaking all over the floor. I did it with my perfume. I only had a little bit left but it has not been good. So anyway, 
I use that all, really loved it. Like I said, I'm a sucker for those mists and the rose water. Spray was really great, hydrating. You could put it on, like, if you work from home, which I do, you can just like mist your face. Um, if you need like a refresh in the middle of the day, it feels so good. They also sent their Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask. I cannot tell you guys, this has been so great for my skin. When I put this on my skin at night, like after I've cleansed my face, and then take it off. My skin is so smooth and like, it almost feels like it's getting rid of like a layer of my skin um, because my skin just feels so clean and so refreshed. So I really like this. I'll keep it on for I think like 15 minutes is what the box said. It's like a really like, kind of gooey, jelly, but I didn't drop that, uh, type mask. Earth Harbor is another really great brand. I started out with their moisturizer. It's like a green, I'm forgetting the name, but it's like a green moisturizer that I purchased myself like when I was first starting my clean journey and that's amazing too. Like don't have anything bad to say about anything from Earth Harbor. They're really clean. All their products are really great. So if you're looking to switch, this is a great, brand to start on just like I did. Okay, last skincare product. I know this has been very skincare heavy, um, and then we're gonna transition into some things that I bought for my apartment that are clean. Some cleaning products, some pots and pans, so we're gonna get into that in a little bit. Last thing I wanted to share with you is one of my favorite masks. I keep saying stuff about exfoliating my skin for my acne, because I was told that, you know, I really need to exfoliate and not let my dead skin and everything trap in those dirt and oil and things like that. So I wanted to get a exfoliating mask because I didn't want to pay the price of getting a chemical peel facial. Um, those can be really expensive and I'm not in the place to afford that right now. But I did do my research on some at-home chemical peels that are still user-friendly for somebody who's not, you know, trained in it. So I found the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength Exfoliating Mask. I was a little scared when I first put it on because it'll actually turn your skin red. It's really a true chemical peel. You basically leave it on for 10 minutes. It says flushing and tingling are normal. So if your skin turns red and it tingles, it's totally fine. Then you rinse it and you can do it like one to two times a night so I'll use this a little bit less often than my other ones but this is great it is a little bit pricey but totally worth it and a lot less expensive than a actual chemical peel facial okay next up I wanted to move into some cleaning products I haven't really focused on this as much because I wasn't living in I wasn't living on my own I was living with my parents but now I am making sure that anything I bring into the home to clean our apartment is something that's clean um, for us because you know when you spray something you are breathing in those chemicals when you're cleaning your dishes when you're eating off of it and your food is mixing with whatever you're using to clean it. So first thing I wanted to share with you is something that we use to clean our dishes, like hand wash our dishes. I talked about this in the first part of the series because I was using it to wash my hands, I believe. I made a face wash out of it. There's so many things you can do with this. This is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. I had the baby version for like anything that I use on my skin, but I actually got this to clean our dishes. You can use it for so many different things. It says dilute one to 10 with water for hand wash dishes. You can use it for laundry. You can mop the floor with it. You can wash your dog. You can use it as an all purpose cleaner in a spray bottle. It's just a really great all around thing to have. So I can get, you can get this at a grocery store or even Trader Joe's and really clean, really clean ingredients. Um, you can't go wrong with this. and. I think I said this in the first part as well. Don't get, what's the word I'm looking for? Don't get confused with the Mrs. Myers. Everyone thinks that that's clean and it's not. They have like the same packaging where they have all the words on it. So it makes it look like it's the same thing, but it's really not. So Dr. Ronis is a great brand to reach for. Next up is a brand I actually found on Instagram. They, I follow a mom who shares a lot of clean products and I was looking for some things to clean our apartment before we moved in. So this was like the first thing I ordered because I knew when we moved in, I was gonna need to like clean everything off for moving. And so this is the brand Clean Colt. We got their all-purpose cleaner and their hand soap. They have detergent, a bunch of different cleaning supplies, which is great. So I have their all-purpose cleaner. I use this on pretty much everything. I use this to like clean our kitchen, our countertops, um, our stove top to dust with. I'll use it in our bathroom as well, like tub and the countertop in the bathroom. So this has been really great. And it also comes with a glass bottle. Actually, I think you have to pick the package where 
where it comes with a glass bottle. I will say they have amazing customer service because this is the third bottle that I've been through where this top hasn't really worked that well. So I don't know if I would recommend getting the glass bottle. And it also shattered on me because this thing broke because it was like too heavy for this thing. So hopefully third time's a charm, it won't break on me, but the cleaner inside has been really great. So I will refill this. And also another thing to know is like they're super sustainable. Everything comes in cartons that you can recycle. All the packaging comes in cardboard and paper. So you can just like not worry about the planet here. Here's the ingredients right on the back. Uh, we have coconut oil, olive oil, tetrasodium glutamate, not sure what that does, um, potassium, some other ingredient I can't pronounce, sodium, citrate, citric acid, lemon, and essential oil blend. Um, free from artificial preservatives, synthetic fragrances, palm oil, petroleum ingredients, dyes, SLS, SLES, dioxane, phosphate, and all their formulas are certified cruelty-free and never tested on animals. And their liquid hand soap I use in our bathroom. You can also use it by the sink in the kitchen. We have coconut oil, olive oil, soap, uh, potassium, Calcium soap, citric acid, vitamin E, salt, aloe vera, and essential oil blend. And they have a bunch of different like scents. We went with grapefruit basil here. This one is bamboo lily. And I believe they also have packages. You can get like, you know, like a dish detergent, uh, a laundry detergent, hand soap, and all purpose cleaner. You can like mix and match whatever you want. So they also have like a subscribe and save. So if you subscribe, they'll send them to you, but we don't need that. So. I only just like purchase them when we need them. And then the other thing I wanted to bring up is dish detergent. I haven't done too much research into dish um, detergent. I haven't done too much research on dish detergents, but uh, something I like when I go to the grocery store and I don't have time to like really look into it. I'll go for the organic brand of like the where whatever store I'm at. So we go to Giant and they have Nature's Promise Free From. This I actually just looked up the ingredients and it seems really clean. Free from fragrances, dyes, harsh chemicals, petroleum, formaldehyde, chlorine, phosphates, and everything looked low when I looked at the rating on EWG for the ingredients. I also have a glass cleaner from them, but um, I was gonna try that, but then I found out that a uh, bottle says natural fragrance even though it says on the front tea tree oil blend but it says natural fragrance so I have no idea if the blend is like actually real or if it's just natural um, so I don't want to share that with you because I don't know I can't vet that um, but yeah the, these are you want to make sure that whatever you're cleaning your dishes with you're eating off of that so you want to make sure that that's clean oh my gosh I almost spilled the whole thing <laughs> don't want to do that Okay, last thing I wanted to share with you guys are pans. We all know, or maybe you don't, but there are some different pan options out there and whatever you're cooking your food on, you wanna make sure that it's clean and not you're not cooking your food in chemicals and releasing chemicals into the air. So these are by the brand Green Pan. I have five of these. I have this one, I have the smaller pan, or the smaller pot, the larger like saucepan, and then a smaller saucepan, fry pan, frying pan, the larger frying pan and a smaller frying pan, and then like a larger, kind of like this, but like larger and it has the handles on the side. So we love these. These are really great non-stick pans. But the thing about these, and I had to pull up the website because I'm not gonna act like I am super educated in this. They've developed the first plastic-free non-stick coating um, that's free from PFAS, uh, PFOA, lead, and cadmium. Um, so I guess those are the chemicals that are traditionally put in nonstick pans. When nonstick coatings, if they're not clean like these are, they start to like break down and deteriorate. They actually release those chemicals and things into your food and into the air. So I did order these online. You can order them on Amazon. I do have a link in the description. I ordered these with the wood handle because I really like them. It's not real wood. It's like, um, I think they call it like Bakelite type material. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on their website. They always have coupon codes. So make sure you use like 50 or 40% off. I think I use 40% off and they're pretty affordable. Like you can get, um, I got like my five piece set for I think around $120 and you can add different pot sizes and things that you might need as you go along. So we've been really loving these. So <laughs> 
So that is it for this clean product switch video. I hope you guys enjoyed part four. If you haven't watched the other parts, part one, two, and three, definitely go check them out. I also have my makeup routine if you're interested in that, and I will be sharing the beginner's guide just to make it easier for you guys to begin this journey if you're looking to switch to non-toxic products. Again, I know it can be overwhelming and you don't want to waste products and throw products out. Um, and so just having a you know quick video that will share with you how you can start as a beginner Hopefully will be helpful for you guys. So subscribe for more like this and I'll see you in my next video